everyone! My name is Ms. Jed and I'm so excited that you're here at Sugarloaf Kids Online. You picked a great day to join us because we're having a block party. What's a block party? Oh, well, it's when you hang out with all the people in your neighborhood or apartment building and everyone's invited. What a great way to show friendship. Let's take a look at what friendship means together. Can you say it with me? Friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. One of my favorite things to do with friends is to play games. I bet that's true for you too. We love to play games at my house. Today we're going to see if it's easier to play games with friends or without friends. And I've invited two very special guests to help us demonstrate. And you get to pick which team that you want to be on and then cheer your heart out. Here's how we'll play. In round one, we will give each contestant a bunch of balloons. And they're gonna have to keep those balloons off the ground all by themselves. We will time each player to see who can go the longest and then we'll put a twist on it. Let's meet today's special guests. Let's meet today's special guests. We have Mr. Kevin. Woo! <laughs> All right, give him a hand. And now we have Mr. Jesse. Yay! All right, guys, we know the rules. So who's going first? All right, we have our first contestant. You are going to have at it and see how long you can go. He's going first. All right, Jesse, you're going first. Let's get you some balloons. One, two, how many can he do? Three, let's do it. Mr. Kevin can do. Let's get you some balloons. There you go. Have at it. Oh. 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 I think that's it. All right, guys. Come on back down. Now we're going to see if it's easier to do it together. Do you think you can show a little teamwork? I think two are better than one. Let's find out. And I think we should up the ante. Let's do it with all the balloons. All right, get ready. They're coming at you. Here you go, go. Look at them go. All right, we have one hit the floor. All right, guys, what did you think? You're out of breath? Was it a lot of work, more work than they thought? Is it easier work together or is it easier to work alone? Thumbs up if it's together. I think they stay together. Great job, guys. <laughs> that was so fun. Thanks, Jesse and Kevin. You know, today's verses show us how two people working together, like them, are stronger than one person working by themselves. God created us to have relationships with others. So, finding friends is super important, but it's also important to find friends who want the best for you and will help you trust God. Today in our story, we're gonna learn how to choose friends carefully. But before we jump into our lesson, Let's take a look at this. How 
do you build a friendship? Some people think it's all about climbing the ladder of popularity or gathering the biggest number of followers on social media. Others believe it means throwing a birthday party at the best place so everyone will want to come. Or even laughing along when someone makes a mean joke so that you can fit with the in crowd. But none of those things can promise you real friendship. Building true friendships is not about being in. It's about being the in for others. It's showing someone that you care about them and not just yourself. It's a smile and an encouraging word when someone in your class is having a bad day. It's making a spot at your lunch table for the kid who doesn't have a place to sit. It's inviting a new kid to your birthday party, even if it's just in the backyard. It's taking time to make your own get well card for the kid in your small group who broke his leg. When you choose to be a friend, you create a safe, welcoming place for others. You'll discover you're building true friendships and others will see God at work in your life. That's why friendship is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Cause worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. I'm so excited that we're talking about friendship this month. I've got a question for you. Why do you think that friendship is important? Friends make us laugh, so we're not alone? Yes, those are great answers. We can find some wise words about friendship in the Bible, in the book of Ecclesiastes. That's a book we don't talk about very often. And here's a fun fact. A lot of people believe that Ecclesiastes was written by King Solomon. And Solomon was actually the son of someone you might have heard mentioned right here before, King David. When Solomon took over as king of Israel, God allowed Solomon to ask for anything that he wanted. Can you guess what he asked for? Wisdom! He asked for wisdom. He knew that if he was going to be a good king, he needed to know how to make the wise choice. And God gave Solomon the wisdom that he asked for. And Solomon is known for being one of the wisest men that ever lived. Let's dive into Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10 and explains why friendship is so important. Check this out. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose one of them falls down, then one of them can help the other up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. Then feel sorry for that person. You see, friendship is important because friends get more done. Friends are there to help each other. Like, if you're playing soccer and you trip down and fall. Ugh, that really hurts, doesn't it? But remember, your teammates are there to help you. That's what friends do. They pick us up and encourage us to try again. Have you ever seen what happens when a basketball player misses a free throw? That could be really embarrassing. But do you know what his teammates do? They give him high fives, whether he makes the shot or not. Friends are there to cheer you on no matter what. Let's see what else we find about friendship here in Ecclesiastes 4.12. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. You see, friends stand up for each other and protect each other. When friends stand together, 
they're much stronger than just one person could be on their own. Imagine if you had to move to a new city and you didn't know anyone. It could be really tough to walk into your new school for the first time. You might feel alone and maybe a little afraid, but everything changes when you meet a friend. A friend can stand beside you and make you feel right at home, even in a new place. Sometimes you just feel sad because of something that's happening in your life. Maybe you feel disappointed or worried and you're not sure what to do to fix what's wrong. Well, that's when your friend can help. They might not be able to fix the problem, but they can listen. And sometimes it makes you feel better just to tell somebody how you're feeling. It's great to have a friend that you can trust. And remember, you can be that kind of friend to someone else too. Let's keep reading to see what else we find about friendship in Ecclesiastes 4.12. A rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. I know, I can show you what this rope stuff is all about. You see, a rope is made of different strands that are all tied up together. Have you guys ever noticed that before? If a rope only has one strand, it would easily break. But if a rope had two strands woven together, the rope is much stronger. And a rope made from three strands? Whew, it's really strong. And friendship is like that too. Friends who stick together are much stronger than we would be on our own. The more good friends we have around us, the stronger we'll be. And you know what? A lot of people think that there's another idea here in the Bible about the rope made of cords. Your friendship is the strongest when it's between you and your friend and God. Remember the two friends we met a moment ago? It really helped them to talk about what's wrong. You know what else they could do? They could talk to God about it together. Boom! Friendships are at their best when we trust God together. God created friendship. He knew when he first created people that we would need friends. And when Jesus came to live here on the earth, he showed us that the very best kind of friendship is the one that he demonstrated for us. Jesus is the greatest friend that we could ever have. He's always with us. Friendship is super important and that's why it's important for you to do this. Choose your friends carefully. Think about your closest friends. Do you help each other? Do you stick up for each other? Do your closest friends help you trust Jesus? If you're looking for a friend who does all of those things, start by being that kind of friend to others. One of the very best ways to find a friend is to be a friend. Our memory verse for this month is another wise saying about friendship that we can find in the Bible. It's Proverbs 17, 17. Check it out. A friend loves at all times. They're there to help when trouble comes. I think it needs some motions, so let's try it this way. A friend loves at all times. They're there to help when trouble comes. Proverbs 17, 17. That's the kind of friendship that we should be looking for. We should love at all times. We should always be there to help. And we should look for others who will do those same things for us. If you haven't done so yet, 
grab your window cling from your mailer and put it up where you'll see it every day so you can learn your memory verse too. Let's pray and ask God to help us be a better friend. Dear God, we thank you for Solomon and we thank you that you put all of that wisdom in the Bible for us to read. We thank you, Lord, that we got to hear this lesson today and we got to kind of unpack what friendship is and what being a good friend looks like. Lord, we want friends that will stand up for us we want friends that will protect us. Lord, we want friends that will point us to you when we are hurting or when we have a problem. And if we want to be that kind of friend to someone else and have someone else be that kind of friend to us, we need your help. So Lord, I thank you that we can call on your name and ask you first, to help us be that kind of friend, and secondly, to help us choose our friends carefully so that we have good friends in our life. Lord, thank you for this lesson today, and I thank you that when we ask for your help, you are willing and eager to help us. So I can't wait to hear all the stories from my sweet friends about their good friendships. We love you, Lord, and I pray a blessing over all of these kids that are listening to my voice. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. To help you unpack this lesson further at home, we've given you a surprise in your monthly mailer. Kindergarten and first graders, we've given you two really cool bracelets. Today we learned that we're better together. So, I want you to think of your friends and give one of those bracelets to them and keep the other one for yourself. And if you're in second through fifth grades, we have given you guys some thread and some optional lobster claw clasps. Girls, you may prefer to braid your thread and make a bracelet without using the clasp. But guys, you may prefer to braid and make a keychain or a zipper pull for a backpack or a sports bag using this class. Ecclesiastes 4.12 said, a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. We hope this fun activity helps you visualize that verse in a practical way. We're gonna close down our block party today and we are so glad that you guys decided to join us right here online. We can't wait to see you back on our campus September 13th. Bye! Jesus, you have been so faithful. Jesus, you have been so true. I will be forever thankful. Cause I never had a friend like you Help me to be who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another with our love like no other yet That's the way you love us, God Never turn away, you are with us every day, yeah That's the way you love us, God Your love is always been beginning to end There's never been a better friend Thank you.
You with me in the darkest valley You with me on the mountain top I'm thankful that you never leave me And that your love will never stop Help me to be who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another For being 